Assalamu alaikum dear brothers and sisters Fasting in Islam The fourth pillar of Islam Fasting in Arabic is Saum Fasting in its essence is the refrainment of food and drink for a certain period of time In Islam fasting is divided into two categories Obligatory which is Fard and voluntary which is the Nafil Voluntary fasts include those fastings which Muslims keep in other months of the year, whereas fastings during the month of Ramadan is obligatory, which is the fourth pillar of Islam. Ramadan, the month during which the Holy Qur'an was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad wasallam, begins with the sighting of the new moon, after which abstention from eating and drinking is obligatory from dawn until sunset. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us in Al-Qur'an, chapter 2, verse 183. Ya ayyuha al-lazheena amanu kutiba min Believers, Fasting is enjoined upon you, as it was enjoined upon those before you, that you become God-fearing. And also in verse 185, <laughs> فَمَنْ شَهِدَ مِنْكُمُ الشَّهْرَ فَلْيَصُمْ وَمَنْ كَانَ مَرِيضًا أَوْ عَلَى سَفَرٍ فَعِدَّةٌ مِنْ أَيَّامٍ أُخَرٍ يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ بِكُمُ الْيُسْرَ وَلَا يُرِيدُ بِكُمُ الْعُسْرَ وَلِتُكْمِلُوا الْعِدَّةَ وَلِتُكَبِّرُوا اللَّهِ وَلِتُكَبِّرُوا اللَّهَ عَلَى مَا هَدَاكُمْ وَلَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ During the month of Ramadan, the Qur'an was sent down as a guidance to the people with clear signs of the true guidance and as the criterion. So those of you who live to see that month should fast it, and whoever is sick or on a journey should fast the same number of other days instead. Allah wants ease and not hardship for you, so that you may complete the number of days required. Magnify Allah for what He has guided you to and give thanks to Him. Fasting in Ramadan should necessarily be commenced with the sight of the new moon and finished with the sight of the new moon. If the weather is cloudy at the beginning or at the end, then complete 30 days. During the sacred time of fasting, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks that Muslims should temporarily abstain from their needs and basic desires that make up our human selves. Doing so provides Muslims with the opportunity to acquire a sense of control over their needs, desires, and distractions giving them room for a heightened sense of introspection and their purpose in life, which is to worship Allah. Keeping the psalm for the sake of Allah alone is a special act of devotion for which there is a unique reward. Our Prophet Muhammad wasallam said, Allah the Almighty said, Every deed of the son of Adam is for him except for fasting. It is for me, and I will reward it. Whoever fasts during Ramadan with faith and seeking his reward from Allah will have his past sins forgiven. Whoever prays during the nights in Ramadan with faith and seeking his reward from Allah will have his past sins forgiven. And he who passes the Laylatul Qadr in prayer with faith and seeking his reward from Allah will have his past sins forgiven. And in another narration, 
the prophet said, Every deed of the son of Adam is multiplied. A single deed has ten times the like of it up to seven hundred times. Allah the Almighty said, Except for fasting, as it is for me, and I will reward it. He leaves his desires and his food for my sake. Indeed, there is a gate of paradise called Ar-Rayyan. On the day of resurrection, those who fast will enter through it. No one enters it except for them, and when they have entered, it is closed so that no one enters it. So when the last of them enters it, it is closed, and whoever enters it drinks, and whoever drinks never becomes thirsty. Subhanallah, how fortunate are we to fast and worship during this holy month of Ramadan. Inshallah, dear brothers and sisters, we will learn about the other pillars of Islam in our upcoming videos. Assalamu alaikum.